Hello everyone, how are we doing today? And welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be going over a little bit of cytology. So using the microscope and going over the major cells we find in the central nervous system and the nervous system in general. Um, so these cells are called, oops, let me switch to the correct pen here, the neuroglia or glial cells. Uh, these are broken up. There are four main types. We're going to look at one main type today and those are the astrocytes. And then there are also the microglial cells. So the astrocytes have a major supporting role, and we'll go over them when I show them on the slide. The mi microglial cells, these are the immune cells, or like, kind of like the macrophages of the central nervous system. Uh, so the microglial cells, and then we have the ependymal cells, or ependymal cells. These are little ciliated cells, uh, they have a bunch of cilia on them, and they are moving around cerebral spinal fluid. And then the last cell type are the oligodendrocytes. So again, this is central nervous system. So central nervous system. For these ones here, oligodendrocytes are producing myelin in the central nervous system. In the peripheral nervous system, uh, the glial cells are satellite cells. They're similar to astrocytes, a supportive role, and also oligodendrocytes are not present. They're then called Schwann cells. And in the previous videos, I went over um, the key differences between Schwann cells, satellite cells, oligodendrocytes, and astrocytes. So just keep that in mind. So these are the neuroglia. And then also, there are the principal cells, uh, the main cells of the nervous system. These are the neurons. And that's what we're going to look at first. Neuron, I had that model video earlier, but now I want to show it to you, actual cytology image of a neuron. Uh, so let's switch to the microscope here. I already have, so I have th three slides I want to show today. Uh, first one is of the neuron, and I found a good one here already. Um, right now we're at 10x magnification, uh, and right now I'm going to move up to 100x magnification. So right here we see a stained neuron. There's actually two right here. Uh, so the stain I was using, it's probably like a methyl blue stain, so it's staining any nucleic acid. Um, and now, let's go up to 400 times right away, and just get right in here and right into it. So, on this, if we're looking at this, we see this, here, I'll, I'll draw it out here. Uh, if you remember the neuron model video, there's a few important things we could find in here. So right here, that looks like the nucleolus to me. Uh, and then, so then this would be the nucleus right there. So that makes sense, that's all, that's all stained blue if it's staining nucleic acids. But then out here, we see all this stained stuff too. What could this be? There are these products called Nissl bodies. Um, or the chromatophilic substance. So that's rough endoplasmic reticulum, so ribosomes making bunch of proteins. So because of the ribosomes are there, ribosomes are made of RNA, they stain blue. So that's why the neurons stain blue. And then here, you would have dendrites coming into this neuron. So there's a bunch of dendrites coming in. Remember, this is a 3D section, so there could be more dendrites coming out the top. And then right here would be the axon hillock, and then it goes out the axon right here, so then right here would be the axon. So the axon no, doesn't have any blue stain in it because there's no chromatophilic substance, no ribosomes in it. Uh, so kind of cool how that works. Uh, so let's switch back here and then move down a little bit on this. So this is just general representation. Now we don't see all the way down to the synaptic terminal, uh, but it's okay. And you also, um, so this, I believe this is just from the central nervous system. So this is a multipolar neuron, most abundant one we have uh, in the nervous system. Uh, don't forget there are also bipolar and unipolar neurons, but I don't have an example of those right now for this image, for this video. Um, but here you can see kind of the 3D-ness as I change the focus on this neuron here. So this is another one. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure which one is the axon here. It could be this one. Uh, going up there, it could be this one down there. Usually the axon is the thickest one coming out, um, but I'm not exactly sure on this one. We have to look at it a little closer, but this is the first slide, just going over the general overview of a neuron, and then, so I know the lab, mo the model in the laboratory, you know, it does a decent amount of justice, but it doesn't do true justice, so it's nice to be able to see it in this form too. All right, let's switch slides now and look at the next one, because continuing to neuron thought there, I also have a slide labeled medulated nerve teased. So remember, there is a difference between a, a nerve and a neuron. The sciatic nerve is a bundle of a bunch of 
neurons or nerve fibers. So these are all individual axons that we're seeing in here. And teased mean it's just stretched. So we can kind of make out individual structures on it. So let's see if we can zoom into a different region. So right here, we don't see any nuclei because in the center of the sciatic nerve, if I don't know where this nerve, which nerve this was, it's just a bunch of axons. Uh, so it's just long, long axon cords surrounded in myelin. And the purpose of showing this is that I want to show the myelin sheath, the, so the Schwann cells that I mentioned earlier, in the sheath gaps that form. And you can kind of see them right down here. Let's, let's see if we can get a good 400 times magnification in this region here. Go in one more, and here we go. So these, a little layered here, but you can see these little gaps. So this, this is the myelination here. And let's uh, switch to a different color. Um, and then, so here would be a Schwann cell. Here would be a Schwann cell. And you know, they're not, it's not perfect like we see in the artistic images. So the action potential would be jumping from node to node to node. So these would be the nodes of Ron VA or the myelin sheath gaps. And then these would be those layers of myelin. You could slightly see that axon going right down the middle there. So it's kind of cool. Um, so as, let's see here. So that was this one. Not, not a whole lot to show on this. I just wanted to show the sheath gaps and what they look like cytology wise because today uh, this is focused on cytology we would be looking at this in the laboratory but uh, we have to make the most of what we can uh, so this is 400 times magnification so very very zoomed in remember each of these nodes of each of these schwann cells here is one cell and the oligodendrocytes are different because they can wrap around multiple neurons all right now i saved the best slide for last because i think it's the coolest um, this one is of astrocytes, so fibrous astrocytes. So remember, astrocytes, what's, what's the name? Astro is star-like, site is cell. So these are cells that kind of look like stars. And this is um, preferentially stained for astrocytes. So let's zoom in. So remember, what are the functions of astrocytes? Astrocytes are very, very important in the central nervous system. They play a major supporting role. Um, they, one of the big things they do is they surround neurons and they can also surround capillaries. And we can see that happening right over here, actually. Um, so if I switch to a, a better color here, uh, so right here would be a blood vessel moving through this brain tissue. And then you see this dark matter surrounding it. These are actually foots of these astrocytes. So in, I'll zoom into these eventually, but you can see all these individual astrocytes, all these dark stains in here are actual astrocytes. So it's really, really neat. Um, that we can see these. And if we zoom in here just um, you know, with the program, we can see these wrappings around the capillaries here and these star-shaped structures and all these little you know, pieces coming out, clinging to neurons around them. So they're supporting the neurons. They're helping them make neurotransmitter if they need to. Um, they're regulating what comes through these capillaries. So this is called the blood-brain barrier. It's a very, very important part of the central nervous system. So that controls what comes in and out of the brain. So the cerebral spinal fluid is separate from the rest of the system. So uh, continuing through here, let's go into the next magnification just to look at these cells a little bit more closer up because it is probably the coolest thing we can look at here. Look how neat they are. Um, so let's change the diaphragm a little bit, see if we can make a, a little bit more structure. Yeah, a little bit there. So here you can see, even though we can't see everything, all these dark stains are still parts of these astrocytes moving around. So there are, of course, the other glial cells, the, so like the oligodendrocytes. They're just harder to see here because they are smaller. Uh, then there are the microglial cells, which are hard to find because they make up a small percent of the cells. Then the um, ependymal cells are found in select areas where we're moving cerebral spinal fluid, so we probably won't find those here in this slide as well. So what I do want to do, let's look over here closer at this capillary or blood vessel. Kind of cool, right? You know, I'm changing the focus right there. Can't get it all in focus. Um, but yeah, it's really neat. Some really cool cells if you move around here and look at this slide more. I wish we did have this laboratory. That way you could look at this on your own. Um, but yes, I just wanted to show how these look like in the actual brain or how and highlight the main differences between the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system by cell types 
and also show what neurons look like here. So this is a quick little video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But if not, hope you all have a great day, and bye-bye. Thank you.